Hey guys, been here. Um, previously I did this video. Um, this is my uh, approach, a school project. So uh, I did this in using SketchUp. So basically, just image, different image, and put them together to create this concept. And uh, today uh, we're going to um, actually model this in uh, just just very simple. Uh, a model in Revit and uh, and we are also going to do this little dynamo thing so as you can see if I drag if I drag this um, slider so you can see so it's 90 so to become that shape of the um, of which one this one yeah and then when <coughs> We go back and become the flat shape. So okay, so let's let's do it. Um, I'll just close this one, and also I'll close this. Okay, so let's start. So first, we're going to create a generic model adaptive. Okay, so first place one point, and I'll just copy this point um, 15 meters. So, okay, so select, select these two, make adaptive spline, reference spline. Um, first, I'm going to show you one method which is not. Um, Perfect. Uh, so this is the first method I tried. So I'll show you why it's not good. So place one point, uh, then draw on work point. Oh, so, sorry, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan, and place it on this point, and then drag this uh, up. And uh, so this point. So click on this point. And then this is the location and, and angle. So I'll just create a, a parameter A. And uh, so now if I go to family types and I try. So so first if we try um, for, uh, 45 degree, it's OK, go up. Uh, 80 degree, go up. So and when you turn it 90, it goes down. And if, if I type 91, go up again. So this is why um, it's not perfect. So okay, so I'm going to I'll, I'll just delete this one and I'll just uh, unassociate this one now and change it this to one. So now I'm going to show you another method. So reference circle and draw on work plan set work plan. Pick the vertical work plane of this point and draw a circle instead. And then, uh, because I want uh, each panel to be three meter wide, so just three meter. And uh, um, and also, I want. Um, so if you look at this shape, so this will be the 45 degree. So which means this will. This point will be offset from here to here by three meters as well. So I'll click on this point. So here I change this to change this uh, to segment length and typing three meter. So okay. So now three meter from this point to this point, and also because this circle is three meter radius. So if I draw a point, uh, draw on face, and then. Place it, uh, place it here, and then I know this point is three meter from this point. Okay, so uh, same. I'm going to copy this CC, and then select this point and pick new host. P uh, pick this reference line. So now, cause on this end. This point will be uh, directly not perpendicular to this uh, reference uh, line. So just to select this point, type in one. So now select the, this adaptive point and this one spline. 
uh, reference line and this point, this point, spline, reference line, this point, uh, adapter, adaptive point one, spline, reference line. So now we have these four spline or reference lines, and then we can create a, f uh, a face. Okay, so and also select this point and also this point. So here, so the measurement type, change it to angle. So now I can link this angle to the previous the, the, the parameter we created previously. So OK, and then you can see uh, I'll just go fat with type. So A is not only one, so it goes up. If I'm typing one, it goes down. OK. So now this uh, uh, this panel is finished, we can create a new family. So it's generic model adaptive again and then just go back here, load it, this family into the new one. So I'll just um, because there, there's two adaptive points. So I'll just place place here and escape and then this panel will be 15 meters. So uh, for this exercise, I'm going, not going to do any parameter for the width, for the length. I'm just going to show you. Um, so uh, so yeah, if you want to, you can just do it yourself. Okay. So create another one component, and then SE to pick this endpoint, another SE, and. Uh, yeah, actually, let me have a look. So this is zero, and also you can see this zero as well. So um, maybe what I can do is um, I'll try. Hang on, let me let me just go back. Uh, go back there because I what I want to is I want to. Hang on, let me have a let me let me think. So this one's zero and it's um around to this one's zero it's maybe maybe I'll do this. Let me try, okay? So this one rotate I'll rotate this circle by 90 degree. So I'll make this zero degree at uh uh there. So this one as well, uh O. 90 degrees so and then I'll load this back into this family and overwrite okay so um, okay so now they are both uh, 0 degree and I'll select the first one and change it to 90 degree okay so this is the first one and this is the second one which is zero so first one's fine because the first one I don't want to uh, I'm not going to move it or change the angle I just leave it as 90 degrees so the second one will be, it's become zero it's easier for me to uh, to change the angle or anything so I'll just do another one so the sec third one so SE pick this endpoint SE pick that point so and then fourth one SA SA last one SA and SA so you will see the last one become a triangle triangle so that's exactly what we want so yeah so now select the second one third one second third fourth so see this one I'm going to create a, a angle parameter so I'll just call it A as well and okay and this one I'm going to call it uh, create a new uh, uh, angle parameter I'll call it B because they are going to uh, rotate different different uh, differently so if you look at here so in this exercise because the last one will be going that way instead of go inside okay so now if I go family type A 45 degrees so you can see go up 90 degrees good so for B uh, I want it to be negative so see 45 and then eventually negative 
90. So which we, what we can do is we can just type in negative a. Okay, so that's it. Um, now I'll just create a project and then we can just quickly do a very simple uh, Dynamo to control this because we have a slider in Dynamo. So load this family into the project. I'll just place it here and uh, go 3D view. So this is a 3D view. So, so same, if I type in 0, it's fat, 45, halfway, 90. So this is a final result. So um, so I'll quickly so go manage Dynamo and uh, new. So first, Revit select and the family type. Okay. So I'll just change this to menu for now, and then F. So because it's a family, if it's a family. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Element type. So not element type, it's family type and then type F because I didn't change the name or oh, what's 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 his name? Family seven family seven and uh, all element of family types link this runs and uh, you will see this is a this family in this list and then we'll just right click set per parameter by name. Okay? So element, connect this one. So parameter name, which is A. So just double click A. Okay, link this. And a slider, a number slider. So number slider. So start from 0 and 90, 0 or 1. So each step so I link this one so now I'll change this to automatic see become a uh, zero actually or become one I'll change it to zero can I have zero? Oh, yeah zero so now I'll just zoom out a little bit and uh, so this will be our family so you can see it's just become a little building so that's the concept okay so yeah that's it um, I'll, up, I'll upload this family and this is this is a very simple one so probably you can do it yourself um, yeah if you have any question let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye